means because we're looking at the back of uh, McConville, that means that Lowndes has actually got by Brad Jones and a couple of others. So he's making that progress. Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, a sort of a Bathurst edition. Um, this is once again another car that is not in its Bathurst library, um, but this, this actual car would be driven in Bathurst. Um, but this is the, the car from Gary Rogers Motorsport. It is the uh, number 33, obviously, the uh, Valvoline VZ Commodore. Uh, and uh, this would uh, race in the uh, 2005 season, driven by Cameron McConville, obviously, during that 2005 season. Um, he would pair again uh, in the sister car, the number 34, with a uh, co-driver this time, Andrew Jones, and would finish the Bathurst 1000 in fourth, uh, just missing out on a podium, unfortunately for those guys but um it was a little bit better than the result that they had last year but uh the race was ultimately won by mark scaife and todd kelly in the hrt number two of vz commodore um, but this time uh cameron mcconville's car the number 33 car was driven by lee holdsworth and philip seifleet and uh, they would actually crash out on a lap 136 this time, uh, they would actually finish the race and he would get a half-decent result uh, racing in the number 34 car. But this is his number 33 car that he, he did drive throughout that season. And uh, let's have a real good look at it. We'll turn it over and have a little look underneath first and have a look at those fantastic details. It is 1A in scale, of course, by Classic Car Lectables. And it has got some great details there. The the tyres, they, they still have that rubber feel to it and do have that movement, so you can uh, steer them around if you want to. The detail underneath is fantastic, though. You can see all, all the, the wires and the tail shaft, the, the transmission, even underneath the engine details. It is fantastic. Yep, it is a really good-looking unit, for sure. We'll just come down to this side. We'll just we'll come down the passenger side first and have a, have a real good look. The decals and everything like that are on really nicely. The paintwork, very good. I don't have a problem at all. You can see all the, the, the wheel details is very nice. The sponsorship decals look really good. We'll come to the back of the car. We'll lift up that boot and hopefully see some good detail, which we are not disappointed in. That has got some fantastic detail in there. That is amazing. That has got a whole heap of detail in the back of these cars. We'll put that boot down and uh, we'll go to the... Uh, business side of the car the driver's side and you can see even the the fuel all the outlets for that it just looks fantastic i reckon it looks pretty cool obviously these are all opening up so you can open all four doors i will take photos of that for you as per usual and it's got some fantastic detail inside you can see all the harness roll cage everything like that we'll just close that rear door open and we'll open this uh driver's side door and have a look inside there that has got some killer detail in there as well it looks fantastic it is absolutely unbelievable the amount of detail that does go into these cars and uh you will not be disappointed if you can get your hands on one of these as per usual and uh i, I think as per usual these are no longer readily available so you do have to source them on the second hand market of course and uh, we will have a look at the very important part, and that is under the bonnet. Opens up nicely and stays up beautifully, which is great. And look at that engine detail. Far out, that is great. See all the leads, everything. It is fantastic, that de level of detail inside the engine bay. You won't be disappointed with that either. That is great. Fantastic. Looks awesome. Oh, I think it does anyway. As always, these are my opinions, and I reckon these cars do come up really killer. They are fantastic looking uh, renditions of these V8 supercars and uh, part of Australian motorsport. So hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying the videos that I'm doing, put, putting out as well for these cars, uh, from both my Australian viewers and international viewers. Um, these are really nice looking vehicles and uh, you know, sits, sits nicely on the table, has, has a nice presence about it. And as I said, it is one eighth scale. So uh, I'll wind this video up. I'll take some snaps of Cameron McConville's car and post them up at the conclusion of the video, which is happening right now. And you can check them out without my fat ass fingers in the way. 
So once again, this is 1 inch scale by Classic Collectibles. It is the 2005 season car that Cameron McConville did drive. It is the Gary Rogers Motorsport number 33 VZ Commodore. And I think it is a pretty cool looking unit. All right, guys, if you did enjoy the video a little bit, throw, throw us a bit of a like, that'd be awesome. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. All right, thank you very much for spending your time with me. As per usual, I do appreciate it. All right, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. Thank you.